Hi, I'm going to start your reading now. So let's see um, your current energy in this situation. What is his current energy in this love connection? Um, I know you're not with her right now, but let's see what your energy is regarding this um, connection. Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. Thank you for truth and clarity. All right, I, I see you You are at a crossroads here, so you are um, kind of unsure of which path to take or of, of which, um, what is true, okay? What I, I do, um, I'm getting, you're, you're, you're wanting to give in, okay? I see someone that's like wanting to give in to someone or wanting to give in to the situations. So I feel like you're wanting to, um, you're just kind of, um, you're, you're, eh. You're like, you know what, if this ha if this is meant to be, then this is meant to be. I'm getting that energy. But I do see you being on the fence about this decision, okay, or, or just uncertain about her, okay, so, but I see you're not, you're, you're not, your guard isn't up, you're not, it's not like you're holding your guard up, I'm getting that, so th it's like, you're open, I see you being open, um, but unsure of which direction to take. Okay, let's see more of your energy. I do see there is an ending. Okay, so there's an ending that caused a lot of pain. And it made you um, kind of turn like a blind eye to her. Okay, this I, I feel like this made you just be in like a I don't care mode or like you're just like, you know, I don't care about this. So it turned, I, I get this, this ending turned you into kind of, um, I'm getting talking to multiple people or just like kind of just like doing whatever i am getting this kind of player energy though from the knight of wands reversed so that's kind of um confirming that this ending with you and her has has, has led you to being in this energy currently of just like oh, i don't really care whatever i'll talk to whoever it's whatever okay so that's what i'm seeing here but i feel like you're kind of um Mm, something like over it or something i feel like you're kind of over that okay you're over being in that energy or you're over you're kind of tired of this i'm getting okay so let's see Let's see her. Let's. I'm gonna pull for her as well. Tell me information. Or what's her energy, please? Okay. Okay. We have two of cups, so let's see. Please clarify this. I'm getting she hasn't moved on from something here. Whoa. Oh my gosh. All these cards fell. Um, let's see what this says. I feel like she hasn't moved on from you. Okay, let's see. One second. I dropped cards. Hold on. She hasn't moved on from you, though. That's what this is saying. I feel like she didn't want this to end, okay? Whatever this was, she didn't want this to end. Um, okay, what is the energy between you two? Let's see. Or actually, I want to see more about her energies, just so you know. Tell me more about um, how she's feeling right now. Okay, about this about him i want to see how she or i want to tell you how she feels about you okay thank you spirit guides angels ancestors for these messages how does she feel about him currently like like you're just doing whatever yeah i feel like that you're 
or no, yeah, I, she sees that, she feels like, um, hmm, like you haven't changed, or you're the same, or something, like you're up to no good, kind of energy, okay, Yeah, that you're single. I feel like she's feeling like you are, um, hmm. What is this magician reversed? Okay, so I feel like she's let, she's kind of let the situation go. In a way, like, she's kind of, like, um, she's, like, okay, whatever, at this, like, I'm getting, like, at this point, she's, like, okay, whatever, or something, okay, I feel like she's released, re she's let go, she's let go of trying to cling on, okay, but I see love in her energy, what is this two of cups, please? Yeah, she still loves you, I'm seeing here, yep, she definitely does, but it's, like, she, there's, um, there hasn't been a decision made about this. So there's a need for, communi for communicating clearly. But she's not having the courage to do so because of something that was unfair that happened between you two or something that um, kind of messed the relationship up in the past. Whatever this was, she's um, feeling hesitant to communicate. I'm getting she thinks about you a lot, though. Yeah, she does. Um, hmm. I'm also getting... Okay, she thinks about you, but I'm also seeing here a king of pentacles. So she may have a new love. Um, but let's see what this king of pentacles is. I feel like someone has given an offer to her. Or someone is um, trying to do that. Let's see. What is this king of pentacles? See, is this someone else? Okay, is this another person? Hmm. I feel like a new opportunity has come her way. Something new here. So I feel like she's getting out of like um like being I don't know it's like there's some something new here though someone that wants something very stable. Hmm. Well, let's see more information on um. Let's see, what do, what do you need to know? Okay, let's see what else you need to know, please. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of like emotional, mm. Emotional instability here from you. Unsure, like uncertainty of the truth. Okay. Hmm. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting you maybe um, holding on to her. Yeah, what's being hidden is there's a new opportunity. I feel like she has a new opportunity. And you're needing to... Yeah, okay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting new love for her. But I feel like this is something... 
that's kind of being hidden or you're not being real about or something like that, okay? It's something that's out of your control here. It's just out of your hands. Um, oh my gosh, this card's been everywhere. I feel like you're hoping for something. Let's see, um, let me just ask directly if this is your soulmate or twin flame. Okay, no, I'm getting it's not. This is a karmic. Tell me more, uh, tell me more, please. This is a karmic partner. Hold on. Um, yeah, this is karmic. This is a karmic um, situation, okay? She's not um, either of those things. Okay, tell me more about this. Yeah, this is a karmic cycle that's that has ended. Um, it's over. I'm seeing that. It's completed or it's completing. Um, but I am getting an energy of it. It's, it has completed here. And that's something that you are not yet... That's something that you haven't realized or that hasn't um, like made, been made obvious yet. I feel like you... You've been staying a little optimistic about this person, but I'm seeing um, spirit. It's like, okay, yeah, no, this is a karmic partner. Not supposed to be um, in your life for a long time. Only there to teach you a lesson. Okay, tell me more about this. Yeah, I'm I'm getting something about your stability as well. For some reason, I don't know why, but I'm seeing um don't don't I feel like you were planning to say something or reach out or try to think about like okay, should I do this? Should I do that? I feel like it's it um you're being advised to not make that move or not take that action. Yeah. Okay. What's the hangman, please? It's time to, like, I'm hearing call it quits. <laughs> um... I'm hearing like weird, like blaring ho horns or whatever. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but yeah, this is you needing to make a decision or ca call it quits. Okay. Finalize this. Hmm. It's like you keep, yeah, you keep looking at the past. You keep thinking about her. You keep um, seeing like, oh, what if? Okay, that it's time to put put your um, put that down or put that away. Like if that makes sense. It's like you've just been waiting to see, like, oh, maybe maybe one day or maybe this is. It's like no, like now is the time to like just let it go, because I feel like it's just been so much back and forth in your head about this. And it's really um, not taking you in the in, in in a space that you would want to be. And you're not realizing that or something. All right, let's see what else.
Let's see what else, please. What else does he need to know? What else does he need to know? Okay, you need to be honest. It's, now is the time to be honest about this um, ending or this, this breakthrough here. This is about accepting the truth. This is about using logic. Okay. I'm getting this was built. This this relationship wasn't even built on something, uh, on a good foundation. I feel like it was built on, I'm getting like lust or something. Very, um, very intense and passionate, but it was not built on, on, on something that was going to keep it stable. Okay. So I am seeing you're needing to walk away from this. Um, and let this um, cycle die out. Well, I'm getting it's already over, but it's only it's about you accepting it, accepting that the cycle is over, okay? Because you're not allowing yourself to change. You're still clinging to the past. That's the problem. Um, that's like your your. I feel like your entire being is like, is like just surrounded by the a past energy. And it's not allowing you to open. Your heart is so blocked right now. You don't want to open up to anyone because of this. Okay. Or you, you're, you're hesitant or you're just very um, kind of just sitting in the pain. And it's, it's not really helping your situation. It's not helping you grow. It's not helping things get better for you in this area of your life. Things are moving very slowly in this area because of this. Okay, because you're not, you have not yet faced the truth about this ending between you and her. So you're still very much clinging on to the idea of her and you keep looking at the past. Now is the time to let this go. Um, okay, you're not allowing the, you're not allowing the universe to take you in the right direction. The universe is trying to push you away from this energy. But I'm getting, you've been very like um, resistant to this. I am seeing writing. I feel like maybe you write about this. I feel uh, the universe is trying to get they, the universe wants you to write okay write about journal and write about um, the situation or how you feel about this I'm getting you're, you're being called to write more okay it's it's about um, writing about the cycle that has completed that this is now over but I'm getting you it would be a good way to express yourself to write more for some reason I'm also seeing king of swords reverse that's telling me um it's time to like, or actually, you're you're you're, you're manipulating the cycle. Okay, you're trying to yes, that's what the issue is. You're 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 trying to manipulate the universe, is what this is saying, and the universe is is getting frustrated because you are trying to block um, block your direction, block where you're being pulled to go, and that's away from the situation, away from this completed cycle. It's like you're manipulating, you're trying to get a work around it, and that's not okay. You trying to work around this. The, yeah, because, okay, so with the two of swords again showing up, once again, you have two paths, but you know, I feel like you know deep down um, the path that you should be taking. Well, this reading is confirming that this this is not meant to be, okay? That you are, you're now being called to release, um, Okay, release. That's what this is about, releasing. Um, I'm getting something about a pet. Okay, I feel like um, I feel like the universe, if you don't have a pet already, you're being called to get a pet of some sort. Okay. Anything else for him, please? Thank you, Spirit. Anything else for him? Okay, yeah, don't don't move forward. Take time to take time to yourself right now and learn how you can um release the past. Now is all about this is the this is the challenge for you right now is about releasing the past. Okay, and learning how to kind of back away from her um completely. Although it may hurt. Okay, but I do I did see she has a new person. Um, hold on. Um, anything else he needs to hear? Oops. Anything else he needs to hear, please? 
Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Thank you. I feel like you want to tell this person you love them. I just heard um, this song that it goes like, say, say something stupid like I love you. So I feel like, yeah, that, that song resonates for you. Okay, being about being vulnerable and then feeling like, I don't know if that's um, a good idea or just feeling like awkward or something about it, about saying I love you or something like that or expressing yourself to this person. All right, um, let's see. What, else, what about this Ten of Pentacles, please? Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles. It's an illusion. Having something, um, having something long-term with this person is an illusion. It's not going to be successful. This person is not your soulmate or twin flame. They are a karmic partner. You're being called to, to walk away from the situation. Let it go. But it's, it is hurting you, I'm getting. So you need to work. You learn how to work through these feelings. Learn how to surrender to the universe. Because I'm getting you're blocking your blessings. You're trying to control. That's the problem. You're trying to control everything. And, and the universe has a plan for you. That's the whole... The universe has a plan for everyone. And you're blocking yours. By sitting in this pain. Okay. Um, let's see. Tell me about this hair font. You're block. Oh, okay. I'm getting you're blocking um, your true love from coming in. That's what it is. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you're blocking your true love from coming in. You're not following your intuition. Yep, but there's first a need to... Okay, there's first... You're needing to use this time so you can allow your true love to come in to learn how to be happy alone, to learn how to be happy without others or without the love from others or attention or anything like that, any contact with others. You're needing to learn how to be um, happy and, and love yourself in your own space, in your own energy, with your own time and energy. There's something toxic um, that's being brought up here. I'm getting some sort of like addiction or habit and this I feel like it's about it's always wanting to reach out to others or, or I'm getting um the op like whoever you're interested in I feel like um you're always you're getting you're always like tempted or, or wanting when I feel like there's a lot of temptation or you feel very like passionate and, and um attracted and to people or to others or something like this I'm getting there's that's been a pattern or a trend for you. Okay. Um you're needing to work on this because you're not gonna be truly happy. You're you're blocking your true happiness, your true love, all of that. Um by staying in this toxic energy. I'm also getting it's like you keep trying to there's a the, there's literally a chain between you and her, and you're needing to cut that chain. It's like, I feel like you love her so much and you just want to give to her and you just want to like, I'm getting you like, maybe you're thinking about like just starting over again, trying again. That's the thing. I feel like you're, you may be, you may have some sort of addiction to love or addiction to, um, I don't know, some sort, something like this, but you need to base it. The basis of this is that you need to work on your, uh, loving yourself, learning how to be happy alone. Okay. And then you'll, you'll have the true love come in. That's the thing. Um, it's a lot of passion here. 
I feel like you need to direct that passion, though, to yourself. That's what the universe wants you to know. Direct that passion more so to yourself. Learn how to give that to yourself than to others, if that makes sense. Um, let's see. I'm also getting there's a need to start perfecting um, your craft. Okay, so I feel like you need to you need to um, hmm. stop. I'm getting stop hyper focusing on love and connections and, and and put more effort into your craft, whatever it is that you are trying to build. I feel like there's a lack of confidence here. You're needing to learn how to nurture yourself, love yourself. There's a, yeah, you're, there's, I'm sensing a lot of insecurity, lack of confidence, and this may not be something that you realize or are um, open about, but this, yeah, temperance especially, yeah, exactly, this is like, this is about trying to align yourself and trying to accept change to align yourself, okay? Hmm. like you always want to give to others or something what is the six of pentacles thank you yeah i see that it's like a desire that's always going on that you want to give to others or you want to have something where you, you know, like a back and forth, like, you know, a connection. I feel like you just, you've been through, you thrive on connections, you thrive on, on interactions of passion and sharing like interest and stuff like that, uh, attraction. So I'm seeing there, um, hmm, you're needing to find balance about this, Okay. I feel like you're not stable because of this. Okay, this is, yeah, it's a lack of not. Stop trying to look for, yeah, stop trying to find other people. You need to find it in yourself. That's what this is about. Stop trying to build with other people when you haven't built yourself. That's what, yeah, you're, you have not built yourself yet. You're in the process, but you're not ready for that yet. I'm getting here. Okay. Now is the time to have fun and, and um, okay, learn how to, yeah, learn how to use your intuition and stop um, looking over, looking at a situation that is gone and work exactly. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like this ending, this pain, this is going to help, this is going to help, um, help you actually you're, you're getting you're needing to turn that pain into um success so this like i said perfecting your craft i feel like it's been taking a while it looks like but i feel like you're going to be um once you put more time and love into what it is you're doing on yourself um i'm getting you're going to be very 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 much okay but you have to end the cycle with this heartbreak here this ending okay I'm, getting, I'm seeing a bird something here bird apple um but yeah i'm seeing you're gonna be fine you're gonna be successful okay and, and and be very or if you're not i feel like you're you're just gonna but i feel like you're you're having a hard time like diving completely into it okay we're going into this now i guess you're having a hard time finding inspiration or um, something like this, okay? I feel like this, this this love situation has been holding you back, yeah. Okay, yeah, what, what's been hidden. Um, but it's over. I, I, you're, you're being called to congratulate, be, like, <laughs> celebrate that it's over, okay? Because this is a new, I'm getting a new phase for you. You're entering a new phase. 
success is coming. Okay. Stability is coming is what I mean. Stability. Lots, very, yeah. Stability is coming towards you, okay? This is something you can't see yet. But it's going to take your passion and your drive. And I feel like this, now that you, this is confirming that this is over, that you're either going to be able to turn that into passion and drive and whatever it is that you are focusing on. Okay. And you're needing to cut out, cut, yeah, cut off the past, cut out this, this person. Um, turn your back, cut this off. You're changing. Things are changing now. The transformation is here and you're needing to accept it. I'm going to pull one more, or I pull a number card for you. And then angel message as well. What's a number card, please? Communication. I think you need to communicate that this is over or that you're letting this go or something here. So you're needing to make something clear. All right. Verbally. Let's pull a um, work your light card for you. Thank you. Yep, you're not grounded right now. Okay, you're not grounded within. I also feel like there's a need for you to spend more time outside. Um, as far as, I mean, just stop being so cooped up inside. Like, find something that you can do where you can go outside and do something. I also see you, there are people around you. Are there? I feel like you have some um, close friend, family member, someone um, that is there for you, is meant to be there for you, that's going to help you go through this process. So I do see a need to, to communicate with that person or whoever that is, groups of people, whatever this is. But it is someone that you care about a lot and that cares about you. I feel like you guys have like a, um, a good relationship or a good connection. But it's platonic, of course, whoever this is. But I see also, um, let's see. Yeah, you are not letting your guides guide you and they're getting upset. They're trying to help you and you're blocking the help because you think it's like you think that that's best or you've been thinking that that's best and that's really been delaying you this whole time. So I'm happy that you got this reading and I hope that you get one with me in the future. Bye.